Okay guys, it is Thursday, October 17th, 2019. The time is 2.35 p.m. Um, the mail just came and I got my first Ipsy bag in a while. I have not had Ipsy in like six months. So that's why I'm doing this on camera. So you guys can see what I got. Ooh, I got two, it looks like face masks. Or they might be hair masks. I don't know. I'll read them here in a minute. Okay, so this can hit the trash or whatever. Look at this bag. I think that's so adorable. Oh my gosh! I love this mascara, actually. I have the big one. Thank you, Boxy Charm. Or Itsy. Sorry. <laughs> I get the two mixed up sometimes. But look. Now I've got a mini, that's so cool. Now let's see what else. Let's pull it all out at once. Okay, so I got a Radiant, Facial Radiant Pad by Fab First Aid Beauty. I've actually heard of these before, but I never really owned any, so I'm kind of like interested in trying it. And then I got the Kalidio, 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 I don't know how you pronounce this, cosmetics, something here. This is the next ev evolution in foiled eyeshadows. A buttery, talc-free formula that has been saturated with pigments and micro-diamond shimmers to give you color, glow, and a cool metallic edge with minimal fallout. Okay. Come on. Will it come out? I'm trying to get it to come out. Oh, okay. I see what's wrong here. There was, uh... Well, that's pretty. I thought it would be one of those, uh, white colors I wasn't interested in, and I think I like that. That's pretty. I think I did have one of these before, but I never could pronounce it. This one's called Diamond Foils Sizzle. Okay. Now, this is a Betty Boop and Ipsy. I think this is a lip gloss. Let me actually look at the little pamphlet here. Okay. It is a Betty Boop lip gloss in, in All Jazzed Up. Introducing our limited edition collection in partnership with iconic beauty muse Betty Boop. This translucent gloss with an ultraviolet tint can be worn alone or over your favorite lipsticks. Plus, it's long-lasting and not the least bit sticky, so you can wear it comfortably all day. Okay. Okay. Let's read about these masks, too, because I've never had these before. I don't think. I might have. Let's see. S and Herb made it to their made it their mission to deliver effective products formulated with only honest ingredients. The tea treat masks absorbs all oil and soothes irritated skin. Okay, so they're skin masks. While the canola honey mask keeps your complexion nourished and hydrated. Okay. This is just so adorable. My mom let me resubscribe to Ipsy because of this. Uh, she gave me her Betty Boop Edition mascara. I don't know if I can find it here. It's a mini. See? Uh, actually, I love it. It gives, like, Betty Boop's lashes. And I remember loving Betty Boop as a little girl. But there was a long period where I have not owned anything that had her on it, I don't think. I was more into the Hello Kitty side of my life. And I can obviously love both. But, uh, we're just going to open this lip gloss. I actually want to try it on. My Itsy app said this would be here today. And I'm glad it is because I really am excited about this. Okay, it smells like a normal lip gloss. Not too bad.
Oh crap, I got a little bit of stuff on the wand, but it's okay. I do love the fact that they sent a full-size lip gloss for the first time in a while. So I um, have to say I'm pretty impressed with this. Uh, but I don't really use face masks, so I don't know why they keep sending me face masks. I mean, I've got like a crap ton from them somewhere, I know. I thought they were in this drawer right here, but I forgot I took them out. I've got like 10 or 12 of them. I'm not even kidding, they're all different ones, and they're still good. They're brand new. Now these, I have, I'm kind of interested in trying these. Let's read these real quick. Help exfoliate, tone, and brighten alcohol-free, safer, sensitive skin. Allergy tested, fragrance free, hypoallergenic, wipe at across face, neck, and decolleté once or twice daily after cleaning. So it must be like a makeup wipe. Let me get the little pamphlet out again. Actually, I thought I did read about those. I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay. For effective yet approachable skincare solutions, look no further than First Aid Beauty. Made with glycolic, made, made, made with glycolic, I don't know how you pronounce that, glycolic and lactic acid cucumber and Indian gooseberry, these pads safely and effectively exfoliate, tone, and brighten your skin. You'll get glowing skin in no time at all. Okay, so the only thing I really don't have to read about, but I'm still going to read about, is the, uh, mascara because I've actually had a lot of those mascaras before and obviously I just showed you the big one uh, okay so the benefit cosmetics they're real lengthening mascara and jet black founded by two sisters in San Francisco this quirky brand puts the fun back in makeup without sacrificing any of the equal any of the quality this multitasking mascara helps curl separate lift and volume volume volumize sorry with uh, staggered bristles that grip your lashes close to the root, coating even the teeniest ones. Okay. I bought mine at, uh, what do you call it? Alta. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, the only reason I did not do this video with my normal recording phone is because the battery's almost dead. It's at 15% and it was uploading another video. And I'm sorry this is crooked. I have no idea why it's crooked. I guess it's because I got a broken tripod, but it's all I got to work with for now. Um, so yeah, and the time is now 2.43. So thank you for watching. I'm sorry the video is crooked. Uh, please subscribe, like, and comment. Unless you have a mean comment, then just keep it to yourself. Or you'll be deleted, reported, and blocked. And uh, if you're new here, um, first of all, note that I do have uh, BoxyCharm and Ipsy as well now. I'm pretty excited about that. I have both. Uh, I have a stigmatism in both of my eyes, so it is worse in my right eye than it is in my left eye, so you'll still see me doing things different than most people do. Um, it is pretty cold where I'm at right now. Let's see the temperature here real quick, and I'm going to put this on the charger when I take the tripod back over there. Wow, 59. Um, also, please note that I am not from here. I just live here because of an unfortunate circumstance. Um, I'm from South Carolina originally, so I'm kind of used to the warm weather. But I've been living here for like nearly four years now. I'm just going to say four years because it's been three and a half years. But I'm just going to say four years and... Uh, you know, I've already, it took me a while to get used to having cold weather, but, but my skin certainly does not like it. <laughs> well, I don't either, but we don't really have much of a choice right at the moment. So I'm sorry to share too much with you. Um, once again, thanks for watching. The time is now 2.45 p.m. Bye.